In this short little video, I'll be showing you the dynamic stepped offsets, which is part of the CGS Civil 3D tools. Inside Civil 3D, we've had a command um, called stepped offset. And stepped offset commands a great little command um, where I can do a, an offset of polyline, you know, at a grade or an elevation or whatever. The problem with that one is, is if you go back and you have to change that original line, you really have to re-offset all those lines again. Um, so I'll give you a quick little example of that. So if I go in here to create stepped offset, it says what's the distance I want to offset? I want to offset it one foot. And I will select this line here and I'm going to offset it in this direction here. And I'm going to offset it at a uh, grade of a negative 2%. Right. And then I might, I'll just get out of this, and this is in 3D and this is in 2D here. So if I go ahead and take this line, I just kind of shift over here. As you can see, the thing doesn't change at all. Um, so I'm just going to undo that, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. So what our command does is it's dynamic. So if I come into our Dy miscellaneous area here and we've got dynamic stepped offset so I click on this and we get this little dialog box up and it's asked us well, what do you want to do so what I want to do is I'm going to go a distance in a slope so my distance is say well I want to go at one uh, foot and I'm going to go to negative two percent and as you can see in here I can change that and I'm going to go ahead and select this object here I'm going to pick on this side and as you can see there, I've created that. Now I'm going to go ahead and say, now I also want to do a, um, let's go a distance and a relative elevation. And I want to go distance in this case here. I'm going to kind of create a curve and I'll just go say 0.1 and a relative elevation of uh, one foot. And so I'm going to go ahead and select this and go onto that side. And I'm going to finish this off, and this time I'm going to go distance of 1 and a relative elevation of 0. So we'll go in here, and I'll grab this and the offset there. So now, if I get out of that, so that's why I created in 2D, and as we can see in here in 3D, I basically just created a uh, curve. Okay, so I'm kind of coming over, up, and down. Now what I can do is I can take this, I can grab my middle vertice here. So if I grab this and I pull this over, there you can see all that data automatically updating for me. I can change the elevations of it. Now it's it always goes on the last one you've done, so I can now also say, well hang on a second, I'm going to change this line out here and the outside one will go but it won't actually update the other ones okay and that is the dynamic stepped offset